The folks at Kittle are geniuses. They've got these great looking templates and they've added a significant feature into the design element. And I wanna showcase that in this video. This is so cool. So I'm gonna jump over here and grab this Arrowwolf gaming design. And I'm gonna just click use this design. So I'm gonna walk through the problem that I was having originally. I really like using textures. So I'm gonna add a texture to this design. Pretty easy to do. I don't like this texture, so I'm gonna click Release Texture, and I'm gonna just kinda of drag it away so you can see there's a bit of a difference there. It's not much in the way of texture, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a better texture in my mind, something that you can really see easily here. I'm gonna pick a marble texture, for example. Okay, so there's the marble texture. You can see it on the background. I'm gonna make the background here a bit lighter. Okay, so there's a great example of where you can see the background. Okay, now here's the problem. And the guys at Kittle have fixed this, which is amazing. Okay, so here's the problem. The problem is I want only the texture on the design, not the background. Hmm. So how do I do that? Well, in the past, what I could do is I could change the background down to nothing. That doesn't work because I just want to put this on a t-shirt. I don't want the background to be there except for on the design. Huh. Well, I can remove the texture. Okay, well, that looks great for a t-shirt, but I want the wolf to have the texture. I want the wolf to have the texture, but not the background. And in this case, I either have the wolf and the background having the texture, or none of it has a background texture, or none of it has a texture. So what do I do? Well, the folks at Kittle can obviously read minds because they figured out a way to make this happen. There's this great little option down here at the bottom now that's new. It's called Clip Content. I clip that and look at that. Just like that, only the front design now has the texture. I'm going to add the background color here just so you can see. There's the background. It just removes the background. And I'm going to add in the color just so you can see it a bit easier here. So the background is purple with that marbled. When I click clip content, check that out. The background is now basically texture free, but the front has the texture on it. How great is that? This looks amazing on a t-shirt now because you can have texture without having a background. Only the front has the texture now. I'm gonna click release texture. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna add in a new texture. I'm gonna go here to grunge, show all. I'll click a grunge text texture, and we can see there, that's gonna look great on the actual logo. I don't want the background to have the texture. I click clip content, boom, just like that. Now we can see the wolf has the texture built into it, but not into the background. I can now download this for a t-shirt simply by going up to the top right, clicking download, and then I can select it as a PNG. I do recommend that you change the DPI to 300. I do recommend you click optimize quality. And of course, just as a safety feature, I recommend remove background, although we've manually removed it as well. And then for digital use, I typically select PNG because that has a transparent background. Now, if you don't want to use a template, that's okay. I'm going to click new project up in the top right and I'm going to show you a really cool feature, really easy feature that you can do using this mask tool. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to select something off the search window here. I'm just going to type in the word cat and I'm going to find this picture of this cat, cat silhouette. I'm going to make them nice and big, stick them right here in the middle and what I'm going to do now is select a texture. So down on the left hand side I'm going to select textures. From here I'm going to select a pattern and you'll see he comes in right like this automatically because he's set to color burn. Well, if I go to normal, you can see the whole texture now is here. You can click clip content and you can make the texture basically the cat. I think this is so cool. If you don't want to do that, you can always change this back to color burn or multiply. There's all these different options in Kittle Oh, I love that. There's all these different options in Kittle and an extra one that they've just added now is the clip content feature. It just keeps the exact pattern and texture inside the animal or the picture that you've got. I absolutely love this. You can create stickers, graphics, t-shirt designs. It doesn't need to be a template. You can make this right from scratch too. So cool.
I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I absolutely love Kittle. I highly recommend Kittle. It's a huge game changer for all of your print-on-demand needs. And I've got a link in the video description where you can sign up for Kittle and give it a try. I just love it. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means that if you do buy something with Kittle, I would receive a small commission. Tons of templates, tons of features. Kittle is next level. Highly recommend. Thanks a lot for watching. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey with Kittle.